All right, so after you've glued all of your seams, what I like to do is run through with the power broom and broom up every single part of the turf areas, especially the seams, because the power broom will find any areas or sections that are loose and or if the seam has not been glued 100%. After you've done that and you've checked and done any repair to the seams as needed, um, then you can start doing your sanding. In this particular section of the video, the owner wanted a sand trap bunker. Um, so we formed that out earlier in the project. And instead of actually using sand on this one, uh, just for different reasons, um, we're gonna go ahead and use a white limestone. So we'll start filling it in. As you can see, we've got weed fabric um, underneath just to make sure that no weeds come up through. And then you can see there's a bit of a sharp angle here um, that we compacted with the base and we'll start to fill this area in and uh, we'll get some more video after we're done. All right, we've dumped in about six five gallon buckets of the rock and it's a little bit hard to see and we'll probably have a little bit of a better view once I rake these out but I don't like to put too much in because I want to create the illusion that it's a bunker if you fill because obviously there's a height difference from here down to here of about eight inches or so so if you fill it all the way up you lose the illusion that it's actually a sand trap or bunker so to control that use half wheelbarrow loads or maybe five gallon pails and then put it in and start to rake it out until you get the achieved look that you want. Just remember, don't overfill. All right, so we came back and actually added three more full five gallon pails to this area, raked it out and worked it back down. And you can just use your foot to work that down. So if you look, you can see that there's a bit of a depression or there's still a hump or rise of part of the look or effect that it is in effect a sand trap. Now on this backside here, we're actually going to introduce a different color uh, river rock, something in the brown uh, family to tie in with some of the other colors that we have going on with our coquina boulders in the backside. But this will, the white here, and we'll actually have some more going up here. This will really make this pop and look very much like a sand bunker. <laughs> 